Hello guys, it's me again. In this video, I would like to explain to you after deploying the uh, mobility gateway and after you having the access point version 10 up and running in your Aruba Central, we would like to deploy a WLAN that is tunneled, meaning when the client connects to the access point WLAN that has been advertised, the traffic will go tunneling to the mobility gateway and mobility gateway will take the traffic into um, its uplink. In this case, the uplink is on interface G1 Z G001, and the traffic from the client will go on VLAN 33. So this means on AP that VLAN 33 doesn't have to exist on the access switch where the AP is connected to. Notice the AP in this example is managed on VLAN 232 which is untagged or access VLAN on the switch interface. The mobility gateway is managed on VLAN 1121. It's a trunk port that would is a trunk port that would carry the traffic for the client VLAN 33. And then we'll ver verify the client exists and the client has picked up an IP address. Let's go and have a look. So now notice the AP is in its group. So it's an AP group 10. We have created four and we add the AP to that group. And your um, Canvas gateway or mobility gateway is sitting in its own group as well. And then you can see it, um, it's up and running here. If we look at the gateway and if I just click on this, say for example, I can go to device to be at the gateway level and if you go to interfaces notice the VLANs look at this the VLAN that we have configured or uh, defined is only single VLAN VLAN 1121 in this example you have two options for the VLAN where the client will terminate on you can create it here if you like and then becomes available when you see the access point try to tunnel as an option or we create it we can create it there and then i'll show you an example of when you create the vlan there and then so to configure wlan we have to be in the ap group so that's ap group i'm going to configure this one in a simple form uh, appreciate key uh, tunnel uh, wlan and you can see the device here again we go to the config now we are in the ap group where the ap belongs to you're going to add ssid again all of these things let's call it tunnel pre-shared key and now we will go next but before we do any of these things let's go and verify our ap and any tunneling that might exist so we'll have a look that's our ap and we can issue the command show ap tunnel agent endpoints do we have any tunnel the answer is no the reason for that because we have not created any wlan that utilizes the uh, mobility gateway so there's no there are no tunnels exist on the mobility on the access point so let's create the wlan now and come back and we will revisit this area again so now the wlan will be type tunnel and we'll select the cluster that was generated when the mobility gateway was added. It's an auto cluster. It will be um, assigned um, a unique ID. Now for the VLAN, if you click here, you will find you have the only VLAN we have advertised, obviously. We have, and the, the one that exists already, it's a native VLAN, um, VLAN one. What you can do, you can come here, show named VLAN. So that what will happen here, this will create a VLAN inside the mobility gateway and we'll double check now once we do this so we can verify the vlans on the mobility gateway beforehand and the vlans afterhand right so we'll have a look at the gateway and then we'll come back and recreate or decreate the vlan so show vlan we see we have only two vlans one one two one and vlan one so let's go back and configure uh, continue the configuration here we're going to add the VLAN and we'll give it a, a name employee let's say employee 
employee VLAN, the VLAN value would be in this case 33. Okay, and there we go. So we're going to use that VLAN now. Click on the list, you see it available now, employee 33, which we have just defined. Once we're happy with that, we will move on to the next step and we will go next. Obviously, in this case, for security, we'll make it personal. There will be PA2 and Aruba123. Simple. That's for, of course, in real life, you're going to use better than this. And we will just finish the um, configuration of, w, of the WLAN. That was successful. And we will double check our mobility gateway. First of all, let's look at the audit trail. If any success or failure, that will let us know in here. Created updated profile here. And you can see clearly see what happened in this case. Let's go to the AP and verify that um, a tunnel should exist between the, if everything works as we expect, an overlay service will have been created and a tunnel will be established between the AP and uh, the mobility gateway. And that's the AP and we issue the same command. You can see it clearly it is connected, the tunnel. So the traffic on that GRE tunnel will be 33. VLAN 1121. Again, these are the ones that you can assign to the users. These are tunneled VLAN basically, using the tunnel between the mobility gateway and tunnel zero, the tunnel between the mobility gateway and the axis point in this case. Notice the IP address is the IP of the mobility gateway. And that's a tunnel that has been formed. And if you double check the same, notice the SPI out and in. If you issue the command, um, similar command on the gateway, you're going to see something similar to this, but reversed. So if we look at the gateway, so uh, the VLAN's been updated as well. Show VLAN, you can see. And if you issue the command, you can see a tunnel has been formed and the SPI, the in here is out there and the out here is in there notice these are the ids and there's a tunnel between these two now if we need to check the networks so let's check the network here show network you can see that is the one that we have created and we have seen before the tunnel so show ap tunnel ap tunnel agent endpoints and we can see the tunnel one end is the IP address of the gateway, the inner IP, which is the IP address of the actual um, AP um, itself. Now we need to connect um, a client to that SSID. Now there's no client, and in here if you issue the command show, and <clears throat> that is a client, and we will connect using appreciate key. Now the client is connected, it should have picked up an IP right now, as expected in VLAN 33. Let's have a look at the client from the access point perspective. That's the AP, and we issue the command show clients, we do see the client, and that's how the client is connected. Now we need to look, go back and look at the client from the Aruba Central perspective. Let's click on the client here. So the um, Arab Central, we can see the client up and running. Click on the client. We'll be able to see an overlay tunnel between the AP and the gateway. You can see clearly what's going on here. If the switch connecting these guys was uh, managed by Arab Central, you would have seen the link between them. So, but here is the overlay tunnel and we have seen the tunnel on the AP also we have seen the tunnel on the actual gateway in this short video we have explained how to create tunnel WLAN and this tunnel WLAN is between an AP that is in its own group or an AP that can be in the same group as with the uh, mobility gateway and the gateway that is sitting and both of them are managed by Aruba Central 
Thank you very much and I will see you in future videos.